Art evidence, the used car market is in crash mode right now. Hey there, fellow car enthusiasts and financial aficionados. Welcome back to the Homework Guy channel where we bring you the hottest insights and trends in the automotive industry. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and right across from me is the amazing Elizabeth who discovered the black book data trend we are sharing with you today. This goes way beyond mere car market speculation. Car buyers have wondered, is the market going up or down? There's a lot of opinions out there among content creators, right? The better question is, what do the facts say about this? Today, we have the cold hard facts to share with you. Today, we've got something absolutely mind-blowing for you. On behalf of our channel members, we've been booking out vehicles and after coming across one of the holdovers from 2023 and Kevin asking me to book it out again, valuable data came out of that process. We've been digging deep through bookouts since early November and we've got some black book evidence that's about to turn the car market upside down. Are you ready for a wild ride and ready to take some notes? We're talking jaw-dropping statistics, exclusive insider information, and a closer look at why the car market is experiencing a shockwave like we haven't seen in years. But we'd be remiss if we didn't first remind you to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on groundbreaking updates like this. Now let's dive right into the hard evidence. We're sharing the black book values that hold the secrets of the car market's decline. Brace yourself because what we're about to reveal might just leave you wondering how you can get in on these deals. Our team of experts has dissected the numbers, crunched the data, and unearthed some shocking revelations that will make you seriously rethink your negotiations on your next car purchase. It all comes out of the service we provide for channel members with black book values on used cars. So buckle up, folks. Get ready to witness the unraveling of the used car market like we haven't seen in years. This evidence will change the way you look at the automotive industry here in 2024. And yes, we will continue to update this information in the weeks ahead. Let's rev up the engines and ignite the excitement. It's time to uncover the shocking truth about the plummeting used car market together. Don't forget these are the most trusted book values by banks and car dealers everywhere. We will be using the high book values for comparison purposes only, but you should by no means be paying high book values for used cars in the market right now. In a falling car market, you always go by average or rough retail numbers. Let's get this party started. First up is a 2023 Subaru Forester with just 200 miles on it, sitting in the used category, and we booked it out on December 12th in anticipation of year end, and then rebooked it on January 5th. In the retail category, you see that the vehicle dropped from a top book value of 39,475 on December 12th and dropped all the way back to $38,050. That's a drop of $1,425. And that's about a 4% drop in just over a 24 day period. Now in a falling car market, no vehicle should ever be selling in the high book category. That was only true back in the spring of 2023 or late 2022 when prices were on the way up. In a falling car market, the highest any vehicle should be priced is average retail or rough retail. Our channel member, Mark, who both Kevin and I have been working with, wrote the following brilliant email to Mike the Salesman on this Subaru Forester. It reads, Mike, I've given it some thought. I've looked into it and asked a dealer friend of mine about this car. He means us. The price you gave me is not what the current price for the vehicle would be. In fact, this vehicle has gone down in value about $1,400 since 12-12. That's black book rough estimate. I also know that you paid roughly $27,000 for it on trade when the fellow turned it in. So after having seen all that, my offer is now $30,000, moving down from $31,000. If I take this car much more over that, I'll be taking a bath myself in 30 days or so as it will go down more in value. So that's my final offer on the vehicle. You can choose to take it or leave it. Like I said, I'm just looking for a dealer willing to earn my business. I appreciate the time. Hope you've had a good new year and weekend. He signs off with Mark. Such a well-written email and scores <laughs> extra points for such reasonable demands. Sure. Now, how did Mark know the dealer likely paid 27000 for that Forester? Because we also sent Mark the black book trade-in values on it and told him the dealer very likely told the previous buyer they would have a very hard time selling a vehicle that was new just 200 miles ago couldn't give him much more than a retail low book value offer. Black Book says that number is 27000 You see, we know how these dealers operate. Mike, the salesman, who seemed unwilling to budge back in December on an offer of 31000 on the same vehicle, it was priced at $35,324, just $221 below the MSRP of $35,545. Mike now responded to Mark's latest email by saying, I'll check with my manager. <laughs> that kind of response tells us that Mark hit the nail on the head with his reasonable offer. 
It's factual and reasonable. There's a really good chance Mark gets a smoking hot deal as a direct result of his savage negotiation style. Yeah. Well done, Mark. Way to go. Next up is a 2020 Toyota Tundra with between 19 and 20,000 miles on it. Its high book value was at 49700 on November 30th. On January 8th, it had dropped back to $47,050. That's a drop of a whopping $2,650, a 5.3% drop in just 39 days. When we talk about how big the depreciation is after you drive the car off the lot, if you had bought this vehicle in late November, you'd have to add $2,650 to your losses. Ouch. Yep. Another great example a 2023 Buick Enclave with 22 to 23,000 miles on it had a high book value of $48,775 on November 21st. We just booked it out again on January 8th and it has dropped back to 47,375. One of our members actually bought this vehicle and negotiated an excellent price on it. He sure did. Here's a 2019 Dodge Durango with 43 to 44,000 miles. It had a high book value of $31,675 on November 21st. We just booked it out again on January 8th. It has dropped back to $29,575. That's a drop of 2,100 smackers. A 2019 Lincoln Navigator with 20,000 miles had a high book value of $54,675 on November 17th. We just booked it out again on January 8th, and it has dropped back to $49,600. That's a whopping drop of $5,075. That's huge. Here's a 2023 Hyundai Santa Fe with 12,000 miles. It had a high book value of $41,250 on November 20th. We just booked it out again on January 8th, and it has dropped back to 38800 That's a drop of $2,450. A 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with 31,000 miles had a high book value of $55,375 on November 3rd. We just booked it out again on January 8th, and it has dropped back to $51,900. That's a drop of $3,475. A 2021 Acura RDX with 10,000 miles had a high book value of $39,775 on November 20th. We just booked it out again on January 8th, and it has dropped back to $37,950. That's a drop of $1,825. <laughs> a 2019 Infiniti QX80 with 64,000 miles had a high book value of $38,225 on November 8th. We just booked it out again on January 8th, and it has dropped back to $36,000. 200. That's a drop of $2,025. That's thousands of dollars in price drops in mere weeks on all of these examples. Friends, if you jump on board with a channel membership and send us a used car for a black book value, we can also backdate the book value and tell you the recent week's history on the vehicle, giving you an additional negotiation advantage so you can negotiate like Mark on his first example on the Subaru Forester that we shared today. If you have trouble finding out how to join, shoot me a text to 701-441-3399 and I'll text you the join link. For the best direct help that you need, we recommend going straight to the top with the Homework Guy Consults package at $49.99. It is so much cheaper than anything else that you find out there, and you get regular text message contact with both Kevin and myself. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk in limited expense. And finally, a quick update on our Car Buyer's Handbook. We've made the executive decision to publish the book at the same time that the new website launches, which is just weeks away. That will greatly aid in book distribution and sales. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website right now, thehomeworkguy.com, so make sure you check it out. For weeks, we've been loading up our new website with helpful car reviews and tons of new resources for your homework lovers. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on Facebook and on X, formerly known as Twitter, so give us a visit if you haven't already done that. If you recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And to all of our new channel members, we really love working with you. Thank you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, We've got to go. go.